So, hi everybody and welcome to the studio session. Um, I decided I'll try and set up my studio space in a way that I can actually show you um, me painting. So I'm just going to get straight into it and just paint a landscape piece with um, a stag from one of my recent kind of series of showing stags that are in the resting uh, meadow with like background scenery and everything like that. Um, so I'm just going to start and just see where it goes. Um, but yeah, I've been looking at the, the kind of artwork I've been doing recently and trying to figure out how to personalize it more and to get myself to have more of a narrative through my artwork. So um, yeah, I've been working on that. And so this is like a miniature um, layout of something I created recently, which I'll show to the side of this video but um, you might be able to hear the gas um, central heating system behind me but uh, this is where I am in the garage so and that's where it is so it just tends to be a bit overpowering sometimes so I don't know if you can hear that but that's what's in the background so what I've done here is I've gessoed some paper and then taped it to this board which I got from the hardware store locally uh, B&Q and I'm hoping that this helps to give um, a kind of an outline that we can use for framing later on. So um, this setup for me is to try and get um, uh, my setup to be a bit better for when I'm doing my online classes. Um, so I'm just really trying to practice. Um, I do some, oh, I have some online classes in Skillshare. Uh, which I'll attach the link to that in this in the description for this um, uh, session. But also, um, I'd like to do classes that I could actually put on my website, and you know people can access them that way as well. So it's not that you have to go to a specific platform like that. You could just get them from my actual uh, website uh, link and. Um, and we could work with that. So what I'm doing now is just adding some suggestions of leaves. So I'm just going to get straight into painting this. Um, I have a layout of things here which I've not um, shown on this, but I will um, have a picture for you of what that template looks like, and I'll put that on the um, just on the screen at some point. But it's it's um, just trying it out today and seeing how it looks. So I'm basically trying to replicate a piece that I've done on a larger um, canvas. And um, I'm just going to try and work with that. So this series is to do with my stags that are in a resting stance. I have been doing my stags kind of uh, in stand-in mode for a while now. And I thought I wanted to add more to their story. There are times when stags you know actually rest they're not always in motion so um that's what i've been trying to do in different positions and with their family and all sorts of stuff i am working on creating so yeah you'll be able to see all that um as i start now so what i'm now looking at and trying to think of is the landscape behind here so I'm just gonna start painting this this is supposed to be kind of like a scenic seaside um, distant so it's kind of a view of the sea um, so I'm gonna get straight into that with my brushes and actually I've not got my um, what do we call it like something with water in it here. I'm just going to be dabbing my brushes and some water and and then drying them with my um, tissue. But anyway, I'm going to get straight into this and I'm going to mix some of my colours. So I'm going to mix some blue, a tiny bit of green, some white and just start putting it in here. So 
I'm hoping you can see this. Um, and I'm really gonna have fun with this because I've been trying to take my time with all the different fun ways of painting I've been experimenting with recently. So, and when I mix the colors like this, it's because I want to have um, the colors blending into each other in different ways. So that's kind of why I do this so that we can have a range of colors through the piece. I'm just mixing the colors, the greens, and this is supposed to be the sky and um, I'm putting this in right now and I can change that. I will paint over this. Um, just going to add some more blue and white and I'm just filling areas, skipping sometimes. So I can't, I mean, I can start using watercolor paper, but I thought to use this um, paper that I'm using right now and then I can always sort that out in the future so um, I've been trying to use my primary colors in my recent artwork and just mix in the colors myself so that's what I've been doing a lot of so these colors I'm using the three primary colors and then I'm just mixing them to get my own colors so It'll all change as it goes along. I'll just try not to rush myself. Take my time and enjoy the process. But I'm excited because I was gonna keep this area of my studio for just my computer work, but I wanna start doing my classes um, and I need to have a setup that is very accessible and works and this looks really good and I'm hoping I follow this <laughs> template for the future. I'm just gonna get some green in here so I've got a variety of greens you can see now in this so I'm gonna let that sky um, area dry and I can start looking at this area here so what I've been doing is that I have been basically using my black to um, give a foundational area here where it just says it's a lot darker here but um, it's not that I have to I'm gonna mix some other colors as I'm going along but um, so I'll add some colors into the black and start building the layers of the stag as well so whatever colors I lay down, it's not the final color. It will be painted on again. There'll be more layers on top of it. So I actually have a collection of brushes here, but I might just stick to this because I don't want to alternate too much. It's just a lot of fun just mixing in the different blues and greens. Um, it's really informed my work recently because I don't usually when I think of shadows, I always just think of a dark color, like black. But what I've been doing recently with this having to mix my own colors is I've been adding other colors into the black and that has been making everything a bit richer. So. Can just add and add. Add a bit of red in here. As usual, just and in the one that I um, did on the canvas, I was reluctant to add the lighter color, like down here. But I'm gonna do that because then it would outline my character a lot better. So. I was reluctant to the beginning to actually do this, but it makes you see this character a lot better once it's all finished. So 
so this area looks very muddled so I'm gonna just highlight that so you can see that a bit better so the stag is in this middle area where its legs are going off uh, this green I'm gonna mix a green and a to kind of can get the shape of that stag there and some green starts to feed in here So I'll be building the layers and getting some more details in here. So you can see the overall shape and This actually was a lot lighter than the one that I did, so I'm going to see if I can add some other light lavish colors in here. But I've wiped some of that away, so I'm going to have to figure this out. Let's put some details in there. So I'm going to start trying to do some of the leaves and things in here. Um, some areas. It's still wet so I will come back. And what I've been doing as well is scratching into my leaves and things so like this. Just to make the shapes of the leaves. Uh, here. smaller so much easier um, when I was working with the bigger one it was you having to step back to see the whole shape of the painting um, so I was thinking now what I should do next I could go back into the sky again and start adding some more colors I'll just mix this a bit better I need to remember what I said right because I'm thinking here what I should do with certain areas. So I'm gonna add some of the flowers that I've added in. That needs to dry probably. Always time to think in threes. I might add one down here. Um, the color dark purple. Add in to the flowers. Some detail. I just love the texture of the paints um, with the way that I've been using them. It just feels so good. 
So looking at this here and trying to add some sort of landscape here. And I think I'm going to start working on the stag as well. That's probably quite far out. It's going to give a bit more dramatic. And then... So, to make brown, it's green and red. So, as always, if I want to put overlaps on things, sometimes I have to wait for areas to dry. Red and black can kind of makes like a reddish brown, depending how much you add. So I wanted to be able to start doing all these smaller pieces because then I can be engaging my brain in creating some pieces that I'm practicing basically. Uh, So it's to take my time and just uh, and let in areas dry because when they dry you can add other details to them like in the shadows so quite red shadows which is very similar to the Stags. I'm gonna have to change that at some point. Mm, just realized this area here doesn't have any um, grass there. Okay, I need to keep that bright because it's starting to get too dark. And then that area, once it dries there, green, the ocean, so many ways to do this. So you can just keep building and so my brush, I'm just going to clean that. try and go back into the sky and I had drips and things in the one that I did on the canvas but I don't really know if I want to do that spraying it it'll just get very um messy so I don't really want to do the drips on this um, I'll just need to think if I want to do it. Hmm. So I'm going to go and start putting in some more leaves in areas. Um, same here. And scratch into them. And though these are actually very similar to their background, they will still have some texture on them. So 
so yeah, um, I really like this actually, let's just put some more, uh, my brush has a lot of, um, green on it. So my stag, I want to actually have more impact than that with that stag, but I'll just, I'll get to that in a minute. I'm just going to start trying to put some more leaves in some areas. And the way of doing the leaves is I've been trying to learn of the way the shapes are. Because um, they're bigger at the top and then they kind of get thinner at the bottom. But uh, like this one, sometimes I get it wrong. So I need to figure out which way I want it to go. But yeah, the whole adding um, leaves and where to add them and here on the stag. Gonna add some more greenish yellow. And then I'm gonna scratch into that. It's a very effective way of doing leaves. It can dry quickly if you don't take note of it. So what else am I going to add to this? Um, I think I want to, um, yeah, I want to get some of the landscape areas like a bit more brighter so that you can kind of see the stag a bit better. So this area is supposed to be kind of dark, but I will I'll fix that leg. That's too let's see. Some leaves. And in the grass, actually, I could have put some designs as well, which I've forgotten to do. I've just remembered I did that in the stack, so I'm going to get some colours going and the stack. So with that, I'm going to see. It's a different red, isn't it? Trying to pull it all together. This is just a very quick um, example. I wouldn't normally rush it like this. So I'm going to scratch some fur into my stag here. I can use smaller um, items to scratch into it, but uh, I'm just using this. colors into the flowers so this one's a bit 
because they're smaller I, if i had um smaller brush then i could make this Let's see if I can make one up here. So, yeah. So I can go closer a little bit and you can see what this looks like. I'll zoom it in actually when I um, actually edit it. So. Um, mixing in some colors here. Yeah, um, don't want to put too much in. There's so many things you can do in this scene and I don't want to touch it too much more than this um, but it looks good I think. Uh, so I'll leave it at this um, but thank you for joining me for this time and I will see you in the next studio painting session.